All right. Now, let me ask you this: Can we apply Navier-Stokes equation to the system, whereas we have gas flowing in pipe? Can we? Why? <coughs> yes. We cannot use Navier-Stokes equation for gas because gas is not compressible. I mean, gas is compressible. So density of gas is not constant. Okay? So in that case, you cannot use Navier-Stokes equation. Basically, mostly, Navier-Stokes equation will be used for liquid flow because liquid can be assumed to be constant density. All right? If you um, go back and read the textbook, there will be another equation called equation the balance of mechanical energy or mechanical energy balance. We will skip that part for the moment and we will talk about it when we talk about energy balance in next section. All right? Now, any question? Any question on the derivation? No? So let's use it. Okay? Same problem that we did before. We did this example before. It's a liquid flowing on top of the inclined plane. Okay? We did that using the shell balance. Now, what about if we going to use the equation? Would it give the same result? It should be. Right? How to start? How can we start using that equation? Every time you start, I would suggest you to start with mass balance for the first section of fluid flow, just for the momentum balance, okay? Start with mass balance first. That means you have to start with equation of continuity. By equation continuity, it looks like this. Okay, what can we get from this equation? Not much. We simply know that if we assume assumption here is that density is constant, now this term becomes zero. Density is constant can be taken out of del and you will get del dot v equal to zero. All right. Del dot V in rectangular coordinate means dVx by dx plus dVy by dy plus dVz by dz equal to zero. 
So we have three components of velocity. So we have Vx, Vy, Vc. Earlier in when we did this example, we already determined that Vc is not zero. Vx and Vy are zeros, right? So Vx is zero, this term becomes zero. Vy is zero, becomes zero here. What you have would be Vz by dz is zero. If you integrate this, you get that Vz is not function of z. Right? So you can get this from the equation right away. You don't need to think about that. You don't need to determine by yourself. Unlike when you do shell balance, you need to consider that if you do not consider acceleration, then within the short period here, no acceleration, Vc should not be function of z. But if you use equation, it would give you right away. All right? Then, equation of motion. In this case, the system is liquid. So we can simplify them to Navier-Stokes equation. And write equation with me. X component of Navier-Stokes equation starting from this equation. The first term, this term, the substantial derivative term. It looks simple, but it's not. This is the first term. This term only in rectangular coordinate is written this way. Okay? The second term, del pressure in x component is just differentiation with respect to x. Next term is mu times Laplacian. And the last term is rho gx. And don't remember, I mean, don't worry about remembering all this. These equations will be given in the examination room. They are listed in appendix. You can look it up. Okay? So let me take some time, write down whole equations for y and z as well.
there's uh, some system within this equation you can see where is like there will be Vx, Vy, Vc in front of each term. Differentiation here is change from Vx, Vy, Vc and so on. Okay? Are you done? Now, these three equations, if you solve it, if you solve them all together, you will get velocity profile. The problem is, can you solve it? By using this form, it's too complicated. Even computer cannot solve it. Okay? So we need to simplify these equations. By simply drop the, the term that R0. Let's start. First term, is it zero? Why? Two reasons. First, Vx is zero. Secondly, everything is operated at steady state. Does not change with respect to time. So it's zero. Second term, is it zero? Yes. Simply because Vx is zero. Now, third, Vy here is zero. Last, is it zero? Vz is not zero, but Vx here is zero. Okay? So on the left hand side, you get zero. First term is pressure a function of x. Is it? Does pressure change with respect to x? If you do not know or if you are not sure, just put it down. Keep it for the moment, okay? If you're not sure for, for any term, keep it. And then you will realize later that you still need to eliminate some. This term, is it zero? Vx here is zero. Vx there and there are zero. Okay? Gx, is it zero? It's not zero. Okay? So now you have rho g sine beta. 